So our hero, John, he's grown up to be strong in the spirit. And what we then see is he's led into the wilderness where he goes into um, this wilderness until he begins his public ministry. And what we looked at in our last session is that the heroes of faith, they all were led into a wilderness experience before they came into their destiny. It's almost as if the wilderness is a rite of passage. And to move into a destiny, you have to go through a wilderness. Some of us maybe look at wildernesses as being a bad thing. Maybe that we think it means that we've somehow we're out of God's favour, we're, we're not living in blessing. You know, if we're living in blessing, then everything goes well. And if we're struggling or we're suffering, you know, we might use language like saying, I'm under attack. And we could use all of those lang that language to sort of describe wildernesses as being a bad experience. Whereas the reality is, it may actually be the place that God's taken you into in order for you to develop and grow. And rather than fear the wilderness, and rather than see the wilderness as a bad thing, I want to suggest to you that no matter how tough it is, and how much suffering there is, perhaps it's part of God's divine discipleship plan to help you become the person that he wants you to be. To unpack that a little bit further, I want us to notice something else about these wilderness experiences. And... Um, I want us to think a little bit about the number 40. Now that might seem a really strange thing to say, but in the Bible, numbers have significance. And so, for example, the number seven symbolizes perfection. If you see seven things, God rested on the seventh day. You know, seven is the number of perfection. Six is the number of man. You know, God created man on the sixth day. You know, the number of man is 666 in Revelation. You, you, you know, the, the mark of the beast is linked into that number of man. But there's all sorts of symbols within numbers. And I want to suggest to you that the number 40 links in with this theme of wilderness. Let's just unpack that for a moment. Think of Noah. We talked about, in the last session about Noah going into the ark. In the ark, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Moses, we said that he went into the wilderness and went and tended sheep as a shepherd in um, looking after uh, his father-in-law's sheep in, in, um, in Midian. He was in Midian as a shepherd for 40 years. When Moses leads the people of Israel out, he leads them first of all to Mount Sinai and he goes up Mount Sinai and he encounters God for 40 days and 40 nights. He comes down from the mountain. The Israelites have decided to make a golden calf and sacrifice it uh, to it and uh, call it their God. And there's such an anger. And God wants to pour out his, his, his anger. Moses intercedes for 40 days. When they then come down and they spy the land out and Joshua goes in with the spies into the promised land. They go into the promised land to spy it out for 40 days. When they come out, they then discover that they're not going to go into the promised land because of their rebellion. So they wander in the desert for 40 years. David, when we meet David going to confront Goliath, Goliath has been challenging the people of Israel for 40 days. And when David then becomes king, he rules Israel for 40 years. Solomon rules Israel for 40 years. Josiah, another man of God, rules Israel for 40 years. You then see Jonah. When Jonah gets spat out of the whale and he goes back to Nineveh and he challenges Nineveh, they get 40 days to repent. And then Jesus goes into the wilderness at the beginning of his ministry for 40 days. Now, pardon me, but if this number 40 is coming up linked with all of these sort of wilderness ex uh, ex examples and stories and experiences, then I want to suggest to you it's significant. And I want to suggest to you it's significant for this reason. The number 40 symbolises um, the idea of being on probation or trial. When we employ somebody at work uh, and somebody begins a, a new job, 
they go on to a, a probationary period and that can differ from job to job. So where I work, um, people have a six month probationary period. And during that probationary period, the idea is that they learn the skills of the job, they demonstrate their capability and we discover their character. And at the end of that probationary period, we make a decision of whether they've reached the standard necessary to be able to do the job that they're being asked to do. And all of these wilderness experiences, they speak of testing and trial. They speak of being on probation. You know, uh, that sense of uh, Noah in the ark for 40 days. There's a sense of going through a trial for 40 days where uh, God's dealing with, with the sin that's there. You know, Moses, 40 years in Midian, he's murdered somebody. You know, he's broken that that sort of core law of God and taken another man's life. And he's run away. He spends 40 years in, wil in the wilderness before he goes back. You can follow the, the thread through, but I hope what you see is all of these wilderness experiences, there's so many links to the number 40 that they all link together to create the idea that a wilderness experience is part of that being on probation. It's part of saying, OK, before I can fulfil my role, I need to develop the character, learn the skills and show my capability in order to move into my destiny. So the wilderness is, cl is closely linked to this ongoing theme through the Bible, where it's a necessary part, I want to suggest, of God's divine discipleship plan for you and me. And for us being in a pandemic, Maybe that pandemic is our wilderness, and maybe it's in that wilderness God's saying to us, OK, now let's see what you're made of. Do you actually have what it takes to step up and fulfil the destiny that I have for you? And maybe this pandemic time is your time of testing to see what your relationship with God looks like and whether it can stand that sense of being on probation or being put under pressure. Have you ever considered that that might be something that this pandemic is all about?